This question is from the October 2020 US SAT. College Board gives us a formula and asks us to solve that formula for a different variable. So we're currently solved for C, we want to solve for R. To solve this for R, we have C equals 5 ninths times R minus a constant. I'll multiply both sides by 9 fifths because 9 fifths times 5 ninths equals 1 and that'll help us get the constant by itself. So I have 9 fifths times the left, 9 fifths times the right. So 9 fifths C equals 5 divided by 5 is 1, 9 divided by 9 is 1. You are allowed to cancel fractions like that. If you don't like it, you can multiply. 5 times 9 is 45 in the numerator, 9 times 5 is 45 in the denominator. 45 over 45 is 1, so that justifies what I did. So I have 1 times this quantity, I can just write the quantity without parentheses, r minus 491.67. I'm still trying to get r by itself. Since I'm subtracting 491.67 from r, I'm going to add that to both sides. And that leaves me with 9 fifths C plus 491.67 equals R. Our choice is C and D have 5 ninths. We want 9 fifths, so C and D are wrong. A is plus 491.67. B is minus. The minus is wrong, so the correct answer is choice A. College Board will always give you at least one, possibly two questions like this where you have to solve an equation for a different variable. So make sure you're comfortable with these and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.